Hey guys, welcome back to the RTC YouTube channel. I am here with a special guest. This is, this is Katrina from Butterfly Media. She is a Facebook ads expert here on the Coffs Coast. Welcome to the RTC Roastery. Thank you so much for having me. Now, you love coffee. Love coffee. And, <laughs> and you can make coffee at home for yourself. You've um, not made coffee in any cafes not that I'm a, aware of. Not for a very long time. Very long I've seen time. a previous life. Yeah, okay. Many years All ago. Right. <laughs> well, today we are going to spend some time learning about latte art, particularly how to pour a heart, um, which is a, a pretty common go-to pattern for people starting out. But I think today I want to talk you through the processes of how I train someone to, to really pour a good heart so that you can do it consistently. Um, we're going to talk through the artistic steps of technique in pouring. Um, I'm going to show you some of the things that you can go home and practice. Um, that's it's going to save you lots of money on milk and coffee without throwing it all down the drain. Sounds amazing. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> um, what I'm going to take you through today is a page straight out of our fundamentals training. Now, if, if you're here in Australia on the Coast Coast, you can come into RTC and do our fundamentals training and have a barista trainer stand with you and do this one-on-one, -on -one, which is what we're going through today. If you're not here and you just want to download the PDF, um, Follow the video, keep watching to the end, and I'll tell you where you can grab that downloadable PDF. Now, let's get started. So, um, I'm going to just straight off the bat throw you right in the deep end and get you to pour a <laughs> coffee because I'd love to see kind of where we're starting from. Okay, great. Game? All right, I am going to um, I'll make it a little easier for you. I'll do the coffee okay. and the milk, all right? Oh, so I'm just doing the pouring. You just, you can just hang out. Yep, you're okay, just going to pour. This sounds like the best bit. Wonderful. While I'm preparing this, um, why don't you tell me, I guess, what's, uh, I guess, about Butterfly Media? And yep. what is a day in the life for you? What's your primary area that you look after? You said Facebook. Yeah, well, the day in the life at Butterfly Media is definitely a coffee in the morning. I can't wait to be able to create a beautiful heart for myself, actually. Yep. Uh, so we're Facebook ads specialists. We work with coaches and online educators, helping them grow their business using Facebook ads and also looking at things like landing pages and their offer. So it's, it's quite a rounded support for coaches and, as I say, online educators. So if you've got some knowledge in the bank and you want to sort of um, create an online course about it, come and see me. We can promote it. Wonderful. <laughs> Very cool. I got distracted by my milk then, but I was listening. <laughs> you were. Uh, so that's it. And then a day in the life is just running ads. So I run ads now for um, e-commerce spaces and for coasters. So we do lead generation and conversion ads, making sales on Shopify sites or leads so that coaches can call and get them into their courses. That's what we do. Awesome. <laughs> we, um, our community is primarily small businesses, cafe owners. Has you got any, what would be your go-to, uh, got any hot tips for a cafe owner and if they wanted to... Running socials? Running socials. Yeah, so if you're, a, if you're a cafe owner, the best thing to do is get on all of the social media platforms that are relevant to your clients. So I would dare say Instagram and Facebook for a start. I would head over to TikTok and run some lives showing, you, showing, um, showing people how to make the coffee or what a coffee looks like or um, some day in the life events that are happening in your world. Awesome. With a story. I agree. <laughs> yeah. All right. Am I pouring this or are you pouring You're this? You're pouring this. Wow. Are you guys ready? Go for it. Okay. Where are we at? That's where we're at. Perfect. <laughs> How's that? There's the, a heart in there. The galaxy. I like. <laughs> the galaxy one. All right. Beautiful. That's a great starting point. Wonderful. <laughs> Is that helpful? That's are you ready very now? helpful. Are you like, wow, we're we working with good. this? No, no. <laughs> I can teach you something. That's good. <laughs> All right. So let's, I'm going to break down the, the different sections for you because what's, there is a few different moments throughout the pour that we want to focus on. <clears throat> Firstly, um, if you've seen the video that I did with L recently, I spent a bit more time going into Rosetta's and um, doing a very similar thing. This video is probably just even refining down on the exact moments that we're practicing. Mm -hmm. So um, our focus is to make sure we get a good coffee and milk mix because without that, 
it's hard to be consistent in flavour. Yep. So okay. if you're bringing that crema to the surface, we're potentially drinking a more bitter coffee. If we're going in too fast and we're creating any sort of milk sitting on top, we might get a, a weaker experience and that's not repeatable from day to day. Wow. For yourself, like wow. drinking at yeah. home, you'll notice that. You'll actually think your extraction might be different. You might actually just be having a hard day with your pour. You just might not be consistent on your pour. So that's actually a part of it, yep. for sure. This is fantastic. So, the, so that step involves us making sure we swirl that espresso. Uh -huh. We need to make sure we've got our milk swirled. Yep. Now, I will also point out the other part of all of this is I would be setting up for failure if I didn't give you a decent milk jug. So mm -hmm. today we're going to be using the Runaway at Stealth milk jugs. They have a nice skinny spout. We've done a whole other video about um, latte art fails and, and the things that go wrong. People often just use the wrong tools. Yeah, right. And they can't pour because they actually don't have the tools to do it. So uh, a lot of home machines that people use just will come with the jug and that's the one that they'll always use. Yes. And it, they generally suck. <laughs> so it's not me, it's, it's the jug. It's not you, it's the jug. <laughs> exactly. Okay. <laughs> Except you just pour with my jug. So it is me. <laughs> yeah, it is me. Um, <laughs> all right, so one thing I am going to do here is for myself, let's just start a 20 minute timer. Starting the clock. Starting the clock. Yeah, because we can, we can spend all day <laughs> making, making coffee. the office. <laughs> and, but I want to see what we can achieve in 20 minutes just okay. with these techniques. Plus, I want to make sure that we're kind of. Uh, latte art is definitely. A, a practice thing. There's no way that you can really learn that muscle memory. But what I get most comments about from people is um, it was good yesterday and it's bad today. Yep. I was pouring really good latte out last week and it was, but this week I'm no good. What's, what am I doing differently? Um, aside from the fact that they might be um, not quite confident with their milk steaming and that can be actually be the element because they'll be going to pour and it'll blob out or it's not it's separated and that's actually the issue before they go to pour. Yeah. But generally when I train baristas, it's actually more around whether they have uh, something to think about throughout yeah, the pour. Right. Okay, yeah. Like is, is there a, a muscle memory, but is there a, a thought process of, I'm gonna do this one step, then the next step, then I'm gonna lift, then I'm gonna drop. And if you don't have those, how can you repeat yourself? Yeah, right. So that's how you get the consistency. It is. It's a repeatability that's consistency. Yeah. Um, but, Again, if, you're doing, if you don't have good techniques, so no one's taught you how to do the right things to repeat, you'll just repeat a really bad latte. <laughs> so what we want to do is, is get you practicing the steps and then you can practice over time. Cool. Can't wait for my coffee so, tomorrow morning. <laughs> yes, it's going to look beautiful. Um, we're going to start with water. Okay. All right. So you can have that one. I'm going to take this one. Now this is pretending this is your milk. I'm going to give you an eight ounce takeaway cup because it's going to give you a bit more time to practice this pour into. So that's representing your milk. This is representing your espresso. So grab that one for me. The steps that you're going to need to take. Firstly, we're going to try to get as close to our espresso as we can. So we're always trying to get straight on top of it. So on this one, when you hit the side, what actually happened was, see this white ring yep. that ran around the outside? It hits the side and it will stick to the whole side and it will end up staying on the side. Okay. So you actually want to just hit straight onto the espresso. Really? Okay. And mix the espresso. I didn't know that. Yep. So let's just practice this. Let's go straight in on top of the espresso, go round and round and round, all the way to the top. And as you get to the top, you're leveling your cup. Round and round and round. Beautiful. <laughs> Tip that back in, you probably miss. There we go. Okay, that's all right. You can make a mess. Tip your espresso amount back in. Oh, yep. Yeah. Make sure there's coffee. Yeah, you got your coffee in there. All right. <coughs> now we're going to confidently go down one, two, three. Sort of. Sort of, yeah. <laughs> Chuck it back in. Sort of. Whoops. All right, espresso. Okay, so. Now, remembering, because at the moment you've got a bit of a tilt on your jug. Yep. So remembering, just let this kind of sit comfortably. So okay. it's straight. We're going to go one, two, three. So this is straight. Yeah. So. One, two, three. Beautiful. Now notice how in three circles around, you're at three quarters full. Yeah. Now if I'd said a run, two, three, four, you would have been almost full and run out of space to do any pattern. Or if I'd said two. So the reason I count to three is because I want you to actually end up at three quarters full. Okay. And the speed it takes you 
to do three rounds at that good consistency because you're copying my speed. If I'm, you can see good latte art people and they'll do this. They'll, they'll get a million turns around, but they have a really better understanding of how to move the milk around and, and mix it well. I have seen them do that and I'm wondering what they're doing. So yeah, If you sense. do that wrong, you can quite easily just bring the cream to the surface. It doesn't really mix very well. So I try to get a good speed of one, two, three, because then, and then we're going to move into our next movement. Okay, so down, one, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of got it. Yeah. So that's step one. <laughs> okay, so right now, you. we would have a good mix of coffee and milk. Yes. And it's going to be just a blank canvas. Okay. So now we have a blank canvas to pour into. Ah, so you're not trying to make it earlier on. No, because if, yeah. if it all happens in here, and then you're still going, you, you're going to keep moving milk through the coffee and it's all going to go everywhere. So if you start your pattern too early, you've got no canvas to pour onto otherwise, if you, if you get in too early. So right now we've saved, the froth has been kind of collecting. Now we need to take a breath, have a moment and come back down and drop our nose right in the middle. And we're going to stay centered before we lift up and pull through. So that's how it's done. All right. You ready? <laughs> you make it look really easy. It is after 13 years of making coffee. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, so we're going to go one, two, three, breathe and drop in the middle. Okay. So I'll do it with you. Ready? And one, two, three, and lift and drop in the middle. Drop your nose as close to the water as you can. Now, if, the reason we've got to get close is because you've created a, you've got that canvas. Now you want the coffee to sit on top. If you're still too high away from it, it will still, it will continue to drive through the crema and it won't actually let the froth from the milk sit on top of the crema. Okay. Yeah. So there's crema so, and froth. There's crema in the cup uh, and, and the froth is what's left. dividing between, yeah, that's what's creating the pattern and it's yeah. mixing between. So we're going to go one, two, three, drop in the middle and stay centered, centered, centered before we lift to get out. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> yeah. So one, one two, two three. three, and then yeah, drop in the middle. Drop in the middle and just stay there. Yep, yeah. you can give it a wiggle if you want. <laughs> I the, wiggle down yeah. there. <laughs> when your cup, like right now, when yep. your cup is completely full, that is when you would now lift, which which means you're no longer drawing a pattern because once you move away, the milk falls through. Okay, got it. If you go down, it keeps drawing. Yep. So if you want to do a blob, you kind of like blob. Blob, like so. We, we want to actually not lift up until we're completely finished. All right, let's do one more and then we'll move on to milk. Okay, all right. Firstly, let's swirl our, swirl our espresso, let's break that up. No okay, clumps that we're gonna, that. yep, I'm gonna swirl that. Whoop. <laughs> no, I might all have right. a little bit more in there. Down low, one, two, three, breathe and drop. Yep, confidently in there. Right at the end, you're gonna just lift and pull through. Beautiful. That's it. Look at that heart. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> All right. That's it. We can get rid of that. As we'll reuse our, recycle our cups. All right. So let's move on. To, you've upgraded from the water to the milk. So I'm going to steam some milk for you. Now, when you're doing latte art, the easiest thing to do is definitely use full cream milk. Yep. It's always going to hold froth the best. You can definitely pour latte out with um, alternative milks. It's just when we're practicing, full cream milk is definitely going to be the easiest to use. Are your machines very quick? Yes. If you're <laughs> used to a home machine, yeah. <laughs> then you're, um, yeah. Yeah, it's very quick. The power. So this is a three group Lamazoko um, linear PB. They're a beautiful machine. It looks gorgeous. Uh, dual boiler, dedicated steam boiler. So nice power, consistent, dry steam. Um, maybe a little excessive for the home. I'm sure I could A linear mini would be, would be maybe <laughs> really? uh, the, the other step. All right. So this is your one and I'm going to have my own here. So we're, do, we're just going to do the same thing. But this time we're going to put some milk in there. And if I just put a little um, sprinkle of chocolate on top, Without swirling that all in, now you can practice the same thing. Okay. Yep. So remembering to always spin that as much as you can, right up to the point that you're going to pour, 
and that's what's going to give you that smooth uh, wet paint like milk. So grab those, big spoon on the milk because that's already started to separate. Let's try this again. Let's go one, two, three and drop in the middle and lift and pull through. Let's go one, two, three and drop in the middle. Lift on my two. Oh, it's a little so hard there. close. I love it. <laughs> All right. One little thing. The pause has to be a slight breath, but it can't be long. Okay. Because what will happen I'll is the momentum will stop and the milk will solidify. And you'll actually find you when you come back onto it, it will just cut through and it actually won't move the milk from the top layer again. All right. I'm happy with my first heart, though. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm an excessive milk banger on the bench, so I'm going to resist the urge to bang as much <laughs> as I do in my other videos. Uh, all right, go for it. Neighbors. Yep, you can, you can keep going. So I'm going to go down. One, two, two three. three. Yep, down. That's it. Stay there. And then lift up and pull through. Beautiful. Nearly. Nearly. You all right? That looks more like a flower. <laughs> so. The thing that we can now see that you're starting to get is is really the um, is more about now we've got a good mix. So I'm going to get you to pour this one over the bench, just here for me. See if we can get the shot. Yep. So let's go one, two, three, and drop right in the middle. Have some confidence. There it is. So when you're learning, it's definitely hard to go fast because you're trying to control what you're doing, but the speed is actually inhibiting the froth from coming out. Yep, okay. The breath that you take helps the froth that's being collected at the back to actually come out and sit on top of the crema. Um, because until I kind of gave you that extra push, did, you any, did any froth even come out and sit on there? Mm -mm. So unless you've, like if you go out too early, it'll all come out and it'll fly out. But that's why we need to just control that one, two, three. Take a breath drop straight in and with that drop will actually bring out any froth that's been collecting the jug and that's what's then going to glide through our, okay. through our cup. We can do this. <laughs> All right. Go One again. more time? Yeah. All right, so. So down. One, One two, two, three. three. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's all right. The milk's starting to go, but we'll get one oh, more out of it. Oh, now it's the milk's fault. It's the milk's Isn't fault. Isn't that great? Yeah. <laughs> it's just that drop and then so that's on So well. on your one, two, three, I'm going to get you to just, don't hit the walls, but just go a little bit more round mm -hmm. and round. Just to get that milk, like you're chasing the milk as it moves around the cup to blend it. So. One, two, three. Yeah, that's it. Drop in the middle. Beautiful. Cool. It'll be interesting, We'd, we'll get some coffee in there soon. <laughs> you think that might make a difference? Yeah, well it's, all of this plays into, once you start moving, working with espresso, you've at least got some oils to work with and move around. Oh, um, all of the dynamic. Yep. I'm going to do that one more time with the milk, so we've got a little bit more time, because I think I can just get you... Um, refine it a bit. Get you just moving a little bit smoother on there. So I'd love to get that mix a little better. So on this next one, I might actually, we talked about before how much milk is in there before you start doing a pattern. Yes. We were doing the one, two, three, got us about three quarters full. Um, let's just see what happens if we just go a little bit shorter. Let's go around twice. Okay. And then we'll start that pattern a little bit earlier. You can find that it'll, it'll give you a bit more definition because I think we are running out of room in the cup before the, any real pattern gets to move and actually take some shape. So let's go again. This time we're just going to go one, two, drop in the middle. So one, one two, two. Yeah. Drop, drop in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm going to give you another one. Do you need to press pause until I finally get it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this is. I like. <laughs> I'm on the Full disclaimer. <laughs> 
Full disclaimer, lots of people have to practice a lot to get this. So this is not like the, but this is, you will go home and tomorrow morning when you make a coffee, you'll go one, two, three. Yeah. Oh, I just yeah. can't do that. So now you got it. So two things there. You're, you're still about this high from the, the top of the milk. Yeah. I'm going to get you to get as close as you can. Plus on the mix, let's angle your cup a little bit more. Because at the moment, what I'm seeing is the, the flow, at, because you're pouring slightly up this side, it's actually folding this way. Yep. And it's blending the milk in a, in a rotational way as opposed to moving around the cup. Yep. I need, you to, I need you to push the milk around. And then when you're ready to do that drop, we're gonna get as, as close to the milk as possible. And that's what's gonna be the thing that gives us that froth out. So angle is, angle much more. Yeah, go round and round and round. That's better. Oop, nah, breathe. Yeah. And then drop. There you go. Oops. Oops, I just spilled it. <laughs> but, so we started a little earlier. Yeah. Yeah. We started a little earlier, which means you got more pattern. Um, your mix was better because we did actually get to go around and around. We're pushing the milk around rather than letting it fold on itself. It felt better. Yeah. So angling your cup. If you're not angling your cup, you're kind of diving from a You're actually shooting from this height, whereas as I angle my height, I actually reduce the amount of room it has to yep. pull from. Okay. There is, there were some people in YouTube comments that I read that say you can, you can pour from higher. The only reason I don't pour from higher is um, you can create more bubbles. You can actually splash and that's gonna have a negative effect as well. So I try to not do too much of this, but if, if you feel the need to thin it out a bit, you can. But the goal is really just to get the heart. Down close, yeah. So go for it, angle that cup, get as close as you can, push the milk around, yeah, and then drop there. Beautiful. Stay there. That's it. I nearly got it. Yeah. That's pretty good. See great. how these lines are nice, a lot nicer and neater? Like yeah. they're, like I didn't put a lot of dusting on. Um, and you're still moving pretty quickly because I need that speed, but at the same time, we could probably just slow down a little bit at the end so it's not quite so chaotic when you're trying to exit. All right, we got, we got four minutes left. Okay. We're going to go with the coffee right. now. Yep. Where shall I put this? Um, you can just Pop drop it over behind here. us. Yep. Have you got something? Always. Yep. <laughs> All right. So how long have you been pouring coffee? Uh, I, what, I just turned 35. I started when I was 17. Maximum I had, a few, I had a few years off. I went into, like I said, graphic design and marketing and a whole bunch of other random jobs that I've had over time, but I've just, coffee's always been there. So yes, it has. many, many years. <laughs> um, so. I do love it. So, so I didn't realise there was so much in it. In this kind of technique. Like I knew there was things in it, but like yeah. you could break down so many different parts, like to create different styles of art would have a different Oh way for to sure. Pour. Yeah, and there's this really is the basis for for some of the like main things. So I just split. Like the heart is is really foundational why we do fundamentals training. Yep. Um, but it's, everything else leads to that. You want to do a tulip, you do your drop, then you come back up, you drop, you come back up, you drop. And it's just placement of where you're going through and pushing through, do a rosetta, you just finish it off with a little tail. So it all kind of stems from a similar thing. Yep. You've got to create a canvas to pour onto every time anyway. All right, these are yours. I've even set you up with slightly smaller cups, so let's definitely only do a, a, a two, two. two around. So you've got to swell the coffee first. Swell the coffee first because we don't <coughs> want the clumping. I don't really want the crema to, to reach the surface. I want it to mix really well. So if I don't, if I don't spill, swell my espresso, I might get clumping. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, so down, Round one, two. two, up. Yep. Drop in, in the, the middle, middle, get down low, lift on your way through. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> I'm going to get you to spin this one. Go spin. Actually, I'll spin that out for you a little bit more. 
Because what happened at the very end there was just we got some real separation just in, in the jug. So okay. you've also drifted. Don't drift. Don't come back. We're going to stay in the one spot right in the center. So once, you're, once you've done that drop, your focus is staying in the middle of the cup. Okay. So spin that yep. as well. <laughs> this is really... So one, one, two, up. Stay in the center. Yep, stay there. Lift up. Pull through. Uh, all right. They're all there. Like I said... It's much better with the hot chocolate. <laughs> More forgiving, was it? Yeah. Um, oh, we can see. We've we got 20 seconds left on 20 my... seconds, let's All do right. it. <laughs> I told you, it's, it takes time. Now I know what to practice at home. Now you know what to practice. Wait till I tag you at home. Soon. Yeah, you've got your one, two, <laughs> three drop. Um, you probably need to watch the other videos on milk because we haven't even touched on whether you're producing latte out milk that's going to help you. You know, if you don't have the right milk textured, it's it's not going to make it any easier for you. So um, that's that's for another day. Yeah, let's stay here. Yeah. <laughs> we can do this. Now, actually, you know, we you know can what? Do this. I'll I'll make it. Well, let's let's go back to this. Okay. <laughs> let's go back. I'll give you. This is going to make all the difference. Well, it's, <laughs> well, it is. So they're like a six ounce cup. This is an eight ounce cup. You technically have more room to move. Okay. Um, so, yeah, they're, they don't have the bowl shape, but sometimes that doesn't always work in your favor. And, and just the, the lesser amount of time that you have to work with the milk. Um, plus you've just done that practicing. So there you guys are. Big jug, one cup there for you. So two swirls or? Let's do our two swirls and then okay. we're gonna focus on dropping that nose right in the middle. So we're gonna go one, two, up. Yeah. In the middle. Can Stay you down. tell? Yeah. Oh, close. Yeah. That's pretty good. All right. I don't waste all of your things. Oh. <laughs> no, no, we we go through plenty of coffee. Do you? All right, last one. Last one? Last one. Last one, we'll do this one. <coughs> So on this one, we need to see the difference between my original. <laughs> that, that's only helping my cause to leave that yeah. there. <laughs> no, but yeah, it's that it's that bit that I need to practice on getting that initial swirl happening. Yes, that round and round, having that control, and then taking that moment. What I what you can take from this is there's definitely a definition between mix like this is this is a the galaxy this is the swirl there's no moment of any sort of latte art happening <laughs> at least you've well, now got some some definition of when when latte art starts to happen um and you'll be kicking yourself because when you go home and do this by yourself you'll be like i did it i know and you can tag us in that <laughs> don't um, worry you'll hear about it yeah <laughs> So on this one, again, let's just get those round and round. Get that mix and just have that definitive moment where we just go up and drop as close okay, as down. we can. We really want that froth to come out, stay centered, stay in the one spot right to the end. All right, money shot. Money shot. After all of your lessons. So in. One, two, up, down. Down closer. There it is. Oy. That's it. There's a heart there. Can you There's see it? There's a heart there. <laughs> yep. I'll that's tag you at it. Yeah. I'll tag you at home. <laughs> no, that's pretty good. I can see it. Thank you very can you much. See it? Yeah, I all can right. see it. Can Go you on. see it? <laughs> yeah. Like I said, it's all practice. Yep. This is not, this is going to give you the tools to work with. I hope that everyone else is had fun watching and they feel a little bit better about themselves now. Yeah, you can um, all do this. You can all do this. Um, remember those things. So we will put a link down below in the description. Um, this is just a helpful little tool with the, the moments that I've talked about. I need this. And that's, yep. Yeah, I you need can this, take one yeah. of them home with you. Like I said, it's part of our full fundamentals training. So if you're local to us, definitely come in and do the training with us. But also, um, 
There's lots of other videos for you to watch and learn about spinning milk, your espressos, your extractions, and all of those moving parts is really what makes a great cup of coffee. So you'll appreciate your barista's love hearts when you go out for a coffee oh, uh, and yeah. the, the many, many hours of practice. Um, yep, is, there sure. any, is there anything you think was most helpful in this? Oh, everything. The whole part, I didn't realise there was so much into it and I didn't realise it was steps. So I think knowing what the steps are, yep. as you say, thinking about the thing each way will help me cool. to create it. So the whole part was great. Thank Wonderful. you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Well, thank you for coming. I thank you for having me. You've learned plenty. Guys, if you're in the same boat and these tools are helping you, let us know in the comments below. We love to read them and we, repl we reply to everyone. So. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. We're always putting out new content for baristas and business owners to improve your coffee. And um, like this video, hit the bell icon and follow Butterfly Media on, on socials and, and connect with us in everywhere we are. So Sounds thanks good. again. Thanks Thank for you. coming in. Thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. See you next time, guys. Bye.